everybody, greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Kaki Somalepe. Well, welcome to Heart to Heart with me, Kaki Somalepe. Uh, you know, I'm driving right now, and can't take a driver here yeah, now. I'm listening to this song sang by Pastor Benjamin Dube. It says, Lomu song gaga, wanele bonke abazi tobileo. And it reminds me of the scripture in the book of James. Uh, God gives grace to the humble. Uh, he resists the proud, but he gives, he gives grace to the humble. So um, a thought comes to my mind. Or, uh, we have got so many gifted people. We've got so many talented people. We've got people that are full of potential. But sometimes it looks like um, you know, for most of them or most of us, if I can put it that way. But uh, while well, I'm thinking, uh, this is me thinking, I'm really thinking, Hore, as the Bible says, Hore, he gives grace to the humble. It means, uh, we need to be humble, you know. Um, we really need to be humble. And when we are humble, doors will be open for us. And wisdom will give us a chance. <laughs> Look at this. Most of us, we try to speak wisdom or we display wisdom before Minyako Ibulwa. And at times when you come and you display wisdom, you end up sounding like you are arrogant. But look at this. God gives grace to the humble. So enter those through humility. And then wisdom will give you a chair. The Bible says in the book of James, it says, humble yourself by the side of the Lord and he will lift you up. Humble yourself. In other words, it is you who must make a decision to be humble. <laughs> it's not God that must decide for you. You must decide or I will be humble because God gives grace to the humble. I want to challenge you today, no matter how God can use you, no matter uh, make sure that you deal with pride because it has a tendency of creeping in our hearts and it creeps, you know. And let me tell you one of the things I've learned before it manifests, so I want to challenge you that fight pride inside before it manifests. How do I know for a pride is it a tomo creeper? That's a question that somebody is asking. Let me tell you, you see yourself better than others. Number two, uh, you must also check yourself because how pride creeper normally it starts in a form of criticism. Because criticism is a form of pride. Sometimes you, 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 you end up seeing yourself as, as the powerful person, as, as a better person, uh, more than other people. Uh, instead of complimenting others, you no longer compliment others, but you always see yourself as a big shot. But I want to challenge you today that irrespective of how God uses you, uh, be humble because God does not anoint pride. Actually, pride is a shortcut to your downfall. And Hanti Hai Simonla, Hawe Lemohe, you know, uh, but Isimonla Kaubata or Shaperoma, so uh, you want people to clap hands for you so that you can feel for a Kiwena Kiwena. But I want to be honest, we are nothing without God. May we be like John today, the one who says, may we decrease as he increases. May we get to a level today where we say, Lord, appear as we disappear. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, 
that as you humble yourself, the Lord will give you more grace and the Lord will open many more doors for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much. God bless you. Well, my name is Kafeso Malepe. You can follow me on Instagram. You say KM underscore Kafeso Malepe. Click like on my Facebook page. You can share my videos. May the Lord bless you as you do that. And on Twitter, you say at KM underscore Kafeso Malepe. God bless you. See you um, till we meet again. Uh, continue to be humble in the sight of the Lord. The Lord will lift you up. Much love.